Hey guys, we are back. This is Let's Attempt, and we are playing Catherine, and we're currently in the bar. So, where we left off, um, we had a bit uh, more of a nightmare, and actually our very first, uh, I suppose you call it, boss fight. So, what we're doing in between these um, um, climbing sort of stages, puzzle stages, uh, is catching up with all our friends in the bar, and actually trying to get a more of a community view of what's happening with these alleged nightmares that all these guys seem to be having. Anyway, let's have a chat with Toby and see what he's got to say. You and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that! Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. You're actually really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Just taking you back to the very first video, just for some of the um, anime references. Uh, you may have picked that up already, but that's um, uh, Toby there. Uh, is actually Sasuke. Uh, Sasuke's voice actor from Naruto. And um, he's also um, Kago. That's right, Kago in Bleach. Anyway, over to Johnny. That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean like how Paul died? Yeah. Or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah, he was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. While you're in the bar, you will sometimes receive text messages on your phone. Push the triangle button to look at your phone. Okay, we will do that. Ah, uh, yep, that's um, Trisha, the giant afro girl. Saying so we have successfully completed stage two of prison. Check out your rewards by pressing square. Over to Orlando. You seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say that. So, but <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Bad or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. Ooh, another text. You got oh, here we go. So, as you know, Catherine with the K is our actual partner, so she's asking if we are at the stray sheep again. Are you out drinking? I came by your apartment today, you weren't there. I wanted to talk to you about something, but I'll do it tomorrow. Oh uh, yeah, your place is filthy. I told you, you have to empty the trash more often. I took care of it this time. I'll start being more careful. That's all. Good night. Okay, so this is where we need to um, affect our sort of good Vincent, bad Vincent sort of rating. Sorry I wasn't home. Nah. Just bad timing, I guess. I can drink if I want. No. Uh, don't touch my stuff. Oop! Hold on. Nah. Sorry I wasn't home. Yeah. Oh, must have been bad timing. No. Mm, out of those two choices, I'll go with we'll talk tomorrow. Night. Nah. No. 
Nah. Yes, we will send that. Okay. Oh. Okay, so as the narrator suggested, um, I'll just press circle to get up. So we'll take a look around and see if there's anyone we can talk to. So we've got uh, a journalist. Uh, his name's Justin at the bar. Um, that's Archie and somebody. And the two Marthas. Lindsay and Martha. The two old people. So I'll start up at the bar here, I think. When you talk to other customers, they may talk to you about their worries. Encourage them from time to time. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. And let me introduce you. This is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. A suit? <laughs> oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of a walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from <laughs> Catholic's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Hmm, that sounds familiar. I think of it, but I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cockadoodlery out of you. <laughs> oh, uh. Wow, you're sharp. You got mail. Oh. Hey Vincent, if you get this, let me know, okay? If you do, I'll send you a picture. You know you want to see. So, what's her name? Okay, Cash Cat. I guess so. Okay. Hmm. Um. Who is this? What's this? Um. <laughs> well, she is kind of cute. No. What do you want? Nah. <sighs> okay, so um, you probably picked up already if you got good ears um, that Archie, the long haired dude, is sitting directly next to Vincent on his right. Uh, that's actually. Ichigo, uh, Ichigo's voice actor from Bleach, and from Naruto he played um, the puppet master, I keep forgetting his name. Anyway, let's talk to him again. I like my women like I like my blankets, replaced by a maid every morning. What on earth are you talking about? You got mail. So occasionally you'll get, um, like Trish the Midnight Venus, the, um, the hostess that we saw in the very first video, she'll send through an email every now and again. Um, yeah, so it's worthwhile just reading them every now and again. Um, they'll sort of taper off as you sort of get past the tutorial stage anyway. Um, righto, so boss is there. Uh, let's have a chat to man with glasses. A legend, huh? If it's true. This customer is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Now, um, again, if you've got your ears sort of working correctly, he is one of the sheep. It's actually him and um, Todd over there on the right with the rooster hair. Uh, again, you can't miss his hair. With the two sheeps plotting and doing the tutorial stuff. So, I want to go maybe, because I have heard his voice. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. 
Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Wow. Well, every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that this survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Mm, to live forever? Not too typical? Me? I'd wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past. Make someone kill me. Oh, uh... Wow. <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. You got mail. <laughs> um, okay. Here's a reward. Don't show anyone else. So there's an image down there. Shit. Oh, wow, okay. Can't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Okay, so there's a bit of a hint there. So we'll check out our phone um, when we're a little bit more private privacy. So we'll see what else Justin has to say. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but they're a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with techniques. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Okay, so again, for you anime fans out there, uh, Justin is actually Kisuke from Bleach. So I'll like point that one out. Uh, so the boss is called to yeah, him. I wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. Uh, but tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. Uh, I think I'll go home for today. My head hurts. Let's them sort it out. We'll come back to boss in a moment. Uh, Lindsay and Martha have gone too, so we don't get to talk to them tonight. We'll have a yarn with Erica. Still, you're cheating? That's big news. Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but gee. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor is real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Was that the way it is? <laughs> Men who cheat are cursed. Nothing, because it's... Yep, sorry, I'll skip that. I've already heard that. Um, that's pretty much everyone. Uh, let's see what boss had to say before we go. Quite a few customers come in to see Erica. It's great for me. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. So we'll check out the news as well. This is breaking news in our ongoing coverage of the rash of mysterious weakening deaths. The following people were claimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That is all the information we have up to this point. We'll revisit our top story after the local weather, in the event that there are any updates to the situation. Okay, so we've pretty much had a chat with everyone. Uh, there is Rapunzel, uh, and you can play that. It's very similar to the puzzle gameplay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to sort of waste video time with that. And the jukebox. 
So these are the guys that developed, um, like Atlas, so the guys that developed Persona, the series for PSP. Um, so yeah, very sort of you know, cool anime style, uh, and the music is is quite excellent. Anyway, let's go to the restroom. Let's wash our face. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was creepy. Let's go through the door. So where we are here, um, this is a private area where we're going to check our um, emails. So let's do it and have a look and see what C. Catherine sent us. Pretty tame. <laughs> Don't show it to anyone else. Okay. Uh, so let's reply. No. Mm, no. That's it. Oh man, this is very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go. Nah. No. Nah. Okay, I'll save your number. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's see where this goes. Okay. So it's one thing to sort of um, sit there and be politically correct and, and you know, you, you can guess basically what answers are going to go certain ways. Um, that part is obvious. But the politically correct answers are, are right in front of you, like you know what to put in. But as I said, I'm going to try and be as honest as possible in this game. So I pretty much covered everything. Um, what I'll do, if we go open the phone and do a save here. Now we've got a bit of gameplay ahead of us before we walk out the door, so we might end this video here. Just try and shorten them back a bit because they are getting a bit long. And what we'll do is we'll visit Vincent's Nightmare in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then.